Hello and welcome to another update video about um, Solana. Solana has come into the target area that I gave you around 10 days ago in my video. So I'm going to show you that um, with Solana. My view is that we have come up impulsively here until um, November, made a new all time high. Then we obviously started our correction. This corrective picture became my most likely scenario when we dropped below 178 dollars. Since then, we have moved in a range sort of, but it has become the most likely scenario and i'm talking about a scenario in which we are moving up here into this wave b area you know we're coming down now in an abc correction basically correcting this impulsive move that happened before coming down in abc of course there were waves within waves uh, but i won't bore you to death here to show you all the sub waves of everything um, but this would be in my view the preferred option similar to what bitcoin is doing as well and what i expect for bitcoin coming down in a wave a moving up in a wave B, coming down in this wave C into an area between 55 and 130 US dollars with the most likely one being the $100, first of all, because it's a psychological level, but also because this is um, here, if I zoom out, the 0.618 FIP level at $100, which is pretty much the most likely one where I would expect that wave C to go into. Um, but yeah, no doubt, we could also drop to 55. Don't think it is very likely with Solana, but it is certainly a possibility. Um, so which target area did we reach? Well, when we were starting to move up here um, on the 21st, I showed you this area here set in this wave B. What you would expect now is to move into this area. And um, what we have done, take the FIBS just to show you why I identified this area. Again, sitting between here the 0.5 FIB level at 203 and the 0.786 FIP level at $235 with an ideal target actually at 216. So we might even come into this area once more. Um, but yeah, we already did hit the area, so it would be enough for a wave B retracement, A, B, C to the downside. Um, so that did happen. And um, we came in only with a wick again, but this is often what happens. Sometimes you only see the wicks coming all the way up to $205 here on FTX. I also checked Coinbase. We also came up um, to that wave, into that into that area, touched the FIP, went through the FIP here, through the 0.78, uh, through the 0.214 FIP level at $204. And yeah, basically that would have been enough now. And you can see as we reached the area, uh, we had a reaction to it and we dropped quite strongly, sort of still here in this, short-term uptrend so we might actually do it again uh, even come into that maybe even the 216 dollars when bitcoin does another run up to 52k if it does it in this range in which bitcoin is currently between 45 and a half and 52 um then i would expect solana to get into this area of 216 again but um, most important thing is from my last video when i talked about it, i think we were mm, here at around 100 and 75 something like that maybe even a little bit lower and to that level that was a 16 percent increase into that area then we dropped obviously and um, in this downtrend i mean it's pretty much clear that all of this does not happen in one clear line you know you have your waves within wave you have your uh, corrective waves and everything within that so that is pretty much what the price is doing so nothing runs in just one straight line this, in my view, is split here in an ABC, where the A wave was impulsive, the B wave being corrective again, and the C wave will be impulsive. So how long does that take? Nobody can really tell you. I would expect it to play out over Q1. But after that wave C then, what we will expect is new at all-time highs, a new impulsive move to the upside um, that could take us at least to the 1.618 extension, $420, but more likely, in my view, 520 for Solana, that could play out through next year, maybe even the 2.618 extension level at $681. If we take a look at the weekly, weekly MACD has still showing further downtrend potential. So pretty much in line with this scenario, um, the, because the weekly MACD did a bearish cross and the selling pressure has not, has not um, faded in any way. In my view, the selling momentum is actually going up. So you can see that here. Um, the MACD is continuing to sell off and we had a bearish cross and we fall from quite high. So to come down to a level where we probably can find support 
will require further price drops. Also what you can see here on high level picture, which is also what I expect for Bitcoin. And you can see it already here on the Solana chart. If I zoom out, maybe on the one or the eight hour chart, you can see a head and shoulders. So made a high here, a higher high here, and possibly then a lower high here. And that can really, really take you to lower levels here. Um, and it doesn't need to be that we drop massively from here, but it is just typically that pattern where you are not able to manage in this wave B run where many people get too bullish again. Um, you won't be able to make a higher high in the new fall and then we can build it again from down here. That's my primary expectation. You know, of course it might be possible, in, but in my view only with a very low probability to just go through the wave B area here and move to new all time highs. It's possible. But in my view, as I said, very unlikely. I mean, that wave B could even go a little bit higher, um, but I don't think it's possible here to make a new all-time high for Solana. Um, but that, yeah, I would expect that final sell-off in line with I expect for Bitcoin as well. So hopefully you liked the update video about Solana. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.